All right, hello everybody. Travis Chandler, Chandler Gaming, back with the next episode of Mass Effect 2. We're gonna do the Shadow Broker DLC in this episode. I can't remember how long it is, so this it might be the whole video. I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. All right. You know what? I think they're all fine except for, um, Thane. I'm surprised by Thane's spiritual side. His psych profile mentioned little of it, and he carries himself with such cold confidence. I'm not sure if I find him scary or sexy. A lot of women like bad boys. Oh, I don't know. Good guys are pretty nice, too. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Samara would like to see you in observation on the crew deck. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need- Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. All right, Detective Anaya is like, oh, thank you for dealing with the Eclipse. Now I don't have to worry about it so much. All right. First thing I'm doing, I'm going up my cabin. I need to change my armor some. Because my powers don't do shit for damage. And I need them to do more damage. There's my new fish. Alright. Um. Oh. Okay. Recharge. Power damage. Power damage. Fields. Health. All right. Okay. There we go. Two more power damage. Okay. Now we need to go talk to Th 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 Thane. And Thane and Samara are on the same floor, thankfully. Thane has an upgrade for us. Tamara has a mission for us. Really, don't tell me you froze. Okay. Yeah. Here's Samara. You came. I must ask for your help. That is not easy for me. It's all right. Just tell me what you need. When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. Using the information you obtained, I have located her. She's been going by the name Morinth. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. Tell me about her. She is an Ardot Yakshi. It is a term from a dead Asari dialect. It means demon of the night winds, but that is mythology. She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without mercy. So is an Ardot Yakshi a special kind of murderer? Morin suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she mates with you, there is no gentle melding of nervous systems. She overpowers yours, burns it out, hemorrhages your brain, you end up a mindless shell, and soon after, you are dead. This is definitely worthy of your full attention. 
She confuses her victims, twists their feelings. They will do anything for her favor. We need to stop her. Thank you, Commander. There are no words to express what this means to me. There is one thing more. This creature, this monster. She is my daughter. I cannot imagine what this is like for you. I do not want pity, Shepard. I do not accept it. My daughter's condition is my fault, and my redemption lies in killing her. Do not pity me. Simply understand my situation. How did all this happen? I spent my youth on the move, adventuring. I killed people, made it with them, or just danced the night away. I learned so much, experienced so much, and then my matron days came. I could finally sit back, bask and enjoy my family. But in one moment, it was all taken away. It sounds terrible. I sat in a med lab while a nearsighted doctor droned at me, and I learned that nothing was as I thought it would be. I gave up all that I possessed. I own nothing, claim nothing. All my knowledge will die with me. Now my purpose is to destroy my own children. Those moments change you. And I've hundreds of years left to live with that. I say too much. Help me find my long-lost daughter. And kill her. We'll go find Morinth. Okay. Now we'll go talk to Thain. Do you need something? You mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. We need to have the best equipment possible to take on the collectors. Do you have any leads I could chase down? My old contact network often located rare equipment for me. Would you like me to get in touch with them? Let's see what they've got. Okay, what do they got? Modular probe bay, we get more probes. All right, though we don't really need them, but I'll take them anyway. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? Certainly. We haven't had a chance since I joined. When we met you, you said you were dying. Yes. I thought you'd want to know more. You don't have to worry about the rest of the crew. My illness is not communicable, even to other Drell. It's called Kepril Syndrome. Is there anything we can do here? Normandy has a state-of-the-art medical bay. No, thank you. It's being attended to. If the finest medical minds in the Hanar Illuminated Primacy can't solve the problem, I doubt your ship's medic could. Thank you for your concern. Trust me, this won't affect my performance. Okay. So now we're good with everything. We'll talk to Kelly one more time. And we'll do Samara's mission real quick, because it's a quick mission. No messages for you, Commander. How may I help you, Commander? That'll be all. Good luck out there, Shepard. Okay, we'll do Samara's mission first, because there's also another mission in Omega that we can pick up, too. It'll give me the chance to get some money in for Ilium, too, so... Oh, the crashing ship is here, too. Look at that. Make sure there's not any more that I'm missing. RM, Hades, and Meta, Titan, Biggers. Okay, we'll check out the Minos Wasteland first. And then we'll go get the crash ship and then do tomorrow's mission. So I'll be back if I find any missions. Anomaly detected. All right, here's an anomaly right here. Ooh, we got a thing of platinum we need. There it is. Unregistered user or record damaged. Scans have found something. Okay. 
but we gotta figure out what's down here. Give me a chance to work on Thane. Get him set up. Okay, Mr. Thane. Miss Miranda. Okay. Do your class. Always do your class. Um. Weapon and health. We'll do your health more than anything. We'll make him a veteran. Shredder ammo, ammo really isn't that great. We'll give him warp. Give him heavy warp. Okay. Okay, whatever. It's raining and it's pouring. The old man is snoring. We'll take those credits. Yes, siree. Really? He keeps moving away from me. I'm trying to stay sharp with my sniper rifle. We're supposed to go that way. We can't go this way, but there's some iridium here. Data pad. Pretty much telling us to leave. Yeah, like that's gonna happen. <laughs> Hello. Goodbye. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Didn't waste any ammo on that one. Abokira reveals them. You take one. Ah. All right, good job, guys. I'll take that clip. I'll bypass this. Okay. Hundred iridium, I'll take it. There we go. The mine logs.
take you. I'll take those. I detect a powerful alien signature deep within the mines. It appears the device is the source of the host. It is likely that destroying it would stop them. <laughs> Okay, I gotta switch. Okay. They say destroying this is gonna be the way to go. Okay. Hey, fuck the items. Fuck the items. There. Because we just don't have time to bypass that locker. I wanted to, but I couldn't because I just didn't have time. There were too many husks. All I was going to be doing was wasting my ammo, shooting them because they keep spawning until you destroyed the um, device. So, all right, back to exploring. So I'll be back when I either get when I get the next mission. detected an anomaly. All right, here's a mission. We'll see about... Ooh, it sounds like Geth. Probe launched. Scans have found something. Okay. So we need just some tech people. So it's going to be Tally and probably Garrus. No, we'll take Tally, because we need Miranda for the weapon boost. We need to change your shotgun. There we go. Okay. Okay. We are just looking around here for items like that. I can't see where the shit so ooh. We've got close targets. Okay. Okay. That should do it. Hostile. Die, bitch. Ooh. 
Not your ass. Alright. Get either one of them. There we go. You are fight me, you little son of a bitch. There. That all of them? No. There we go. This might be useful. What do we get? Damage protection. Nice. It's a shield upgrade. Hell yeah. We'll take that. Forty percent more shields. We'll take that. For the entire squad, too. Okay, we're gonna check messages. Sure it. Um, he's one of the ones that we saved in Dandius Towers. He's like, Dandius Towers. He's like, oh, thank you for setting me right. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Okay, so we're going to hit the research terminal to get my damage protection. There we go. Thane would like to speak with you, Commander. And Thane wants to speak with us. Okay, so we'll go down, talk to Thane, get his mission open too. We'll see about getting his mission done too. Fuck it, his isn't that hard to do either, so. Well, it is, but isn't. Um... Shepard. Is there something wrong? Yes. Now that you are here, though. It seems more difficult to talk about. I've got time. Take it at your own pace. Thank you. I fear I've already done that for too long. I had a family once. I still have a son. His name is Kolyat. I haven't seen him for a very long time. You never mentioned this before. Why now? When my wife departed from her body, I attended to that issue. I left Kolyat in the care of his aunts and uncles. I have not seen him or talked to him since. That's not the choice I expected. Why didn't you raise him yourself? My body is blessed with the skills to take life. The Hanar honed them in me. I have few others. I didn't want that life for Kolyat. I hoped he would find his own way. If he hated me, so be it. He would not have shared the path of Sim. I used my contacts to trace Kolyat. He has become... disconnected. He does what his body wills. You'll have to explain that one to me. Disconnected. The body is not our true self, the soul is. Body and soul work as one in a whole person. When the soul is weakened by despair or fear, when the body is ill or injured, the individual is disconnected, no longer whole. Well, what's wrong with him? Is he hurt? Something happened that should not have. He knows where I've been, what I've done. I don't know his reasons, but he has gone to the Citadel. He's taken a job as a hitman. I would like your help to stop him. He is... This is not a path he should walk. I'll get us to the Citadel as soon as possible. Thank you, Shepard. I'll be meditating until you need me. Okay.
Okay. But we'll finish exploring this system. And then we'll explore one more system and um, do the crashing ship. So, um, I think one more system. Nope, this is the last system, so we can go back and... Explore the planets and then go to the ship. Okay, here we go. The crashing ship. The MSV Broken Arrow. I don't remember this one. I really don't. I don't remember this one. They say there's a geth on it, so we'll take Tally with us. Okay, so pretty much the ship got overran by Geth. They were trying to stop them. The Geth came in, they overpowered everyone, and took off the, and took out the crew. So now we need to kill the Geth and stop the ship from crashing. Ship support, everything's disabled and offline. Nothing we can do here to stop the ship. Okay, I need to keep my skills honed. We gotta be down here. Maybe, yep. <laughs> really? Who interrupted me? You? Okay, oh, we gotta go to the other side. Okay, we're not in a good spot here. How do we get down there? We don't get down there. Not that way, anyway. No, we have to go down that way. We have to. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. We have to go down this way. Enemy down. But the problem is they block us in. Oh, no, they don't. It's right here. Okay. your ass. Alright. I do remember this one now that I'm thinking about it. Help that one.
There we go. Now we come up here and restart the engine. That's what we do. Save the colony from a crashing ship. Okay, cool. Make sure there's no message. Oh, thanks for um, stabilizing the MSV Broken Arrow. You saved our colony. That's pretty much what that message says. Okay. We can now go and do the two loyalty missions. You want to do it now. You want to do all your missions now before you acquire the Reaper IFF. The reason for it is after that you have. There's only one mission you can do besides the final mission. So get your stuff done now. I know it's boring, but it's got to be done. Okay. Oh, you're max level. Why don't you just go? Well, I want the loyalty for one. And two, I want to buy everything in Ilium. And the only way to get credits is to do missions. So... We'll take Samara with us, because this is her mission. We won't be fighting anything, so this is more of a murder mystery kind of deal. You'll see in a minute. Okay. The daily death count on Omega is too high for me to pinpoint in Ardot Yakshi's location. However, given the reputation of Ardot Yakshi among the Asari, Arya Talok may have tracked her movements. Thank you. Okay. But we need to go talk to Arya. Come on, let me in. Arya's expecting me. Ugh. What do you need? An Asari fugitive is hiding out here. She's an Ardat Yaxi. We need to find her. I knew it. Nothing leaves a body quite so empty as an Ardat Yaxi does. You haven't taken steps to kill her. Why would I? She hasn't tried to seduce me. Her last victim was a young girl. Pretty thing. Lived in the tenements near here. That's where I start looking. Okay. Thanks for the help. Good luck finding her. Better luck catching her. So now we need to go to the VIP area of um, the lower section of Afterlife. No, we go to the apartments. That's right. Well, I forgot. I thought you went this way. For no, you don't. You go to the apartments first. Stupid me. Stupid me.
Okay. So over here is the mission I was talking about, ish. Which one is Miranda? Miranda Lawson. I thought that might be you. Hello, Ish. Long time no see. I take it you've met each other before. Jacob and I worked a mission with Ish a few years back. He helped us with some information. One of my finer moments, I'd say. You need something? Well, if you'd be so kind, I hoped you might consider a proposition. I need skilled, trustworthy people to take care of a little business for me. Nothing illegal, of course, but it's paying work. I'm listening. I'm in the information business, specifically the buying and selling of privileged material. It's nothing illicit. I just need someone to pick up packages in certain locations and bring them to me here. I can do that. My contacts use specific drop points. I need you to look outside Merib's shop on the Citadel and inside Eternity on Ilium. Look around for anything that might hold a data package and bring those packages to me. Good seeing you again, Miranda. Okay. So over here is where we're supposed to go. Are you here about my daughter? My nef died a week ago and no one seems to care. The medic said it was a brain hemorrhage, but that's not true. It was murder. Someone killed my nef, my baby. I think she was murdered too, and I'm looking for her killer. Oh, thank you. It's so hard when no one believes you. I'm all alone now. Are you one of Arya's people? I'm here to help. Does it matter who sent me? No one else on this hellhole station gives a damn that my nephew is dead. If you can do something about it, I'll help you however I can. Do you mind if I examine Neff's room? I didn't want to disturb anything. Her clothes, her art, her sculptures. Everything is the way she left it. The way it will always be. <laughs> my baby is gone. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry, I just miss her so much. It's okay. We've all suffered loss. I know what it means to lose a daughter. I will avenge her. Thank you. Please, if it helps you find her killer, look through her things. We will be respectful. I'll examine her things. Okay. Read the oldest entry. Hey, diary. Cycle 34, orbit 671. There's a lot to talk about. I dropped your root's name, and they let me into the VIP room at Afterlife. I was sure everyone was staring at me. Then the most beautiful Asari starts dancing near me. She moves like water, form and volume, but shifting, changing. I'm in a trance. Then I'm dancing with her. Later, we went for skewers, and I'm supposed to see her again tomorrow. Read the middle entry. Cycle 36, orbit 671. Oh, am I a freak? Morinth is a girl like me, and she's definitely not human. Just when we dance and the hallux is flowing through me, the way she looks at me with a hunger, a longing, no one's ever looked at me like that. We kiss tonight. Read the newest entry. Cycle 42, orbit 67. She's going to take me to her apartment tonight. Whatever happens, I want to be with her forever. She can sell my pieces, we can live somewhere glamorous, like the women in Vanya that Vid Morinth likes. How did this happen to me? I'm just dumb trash from Omega. Close the hollow journal. This is Morinth's work. She's attracted to artists and creators. Someone with a spark slightly isolated from their peers. She impresses with sophistication and sex appeal. Then she strikes. The hunt interests her as much as the conquest. Anyone who's successfully hunted sapient beings for 400 years warrants caution. Morin speaks to you on many levels. Her body tells yours that she'll bring unimaginable ecstasy. Her scent evokes emotions long hidden. Her eyes promise you things you were always scared to ask of another. 
Her voice whispers to you after she is done speaking. So, what's our next step? Storming her den would be a mistake. She will have a hundred escape routes planned. She will go to ground and disappear for fifty years or more. This is the closest I've ever been. You sound like you're working your way toward an idea. Afterlife's VIP section seems her preferred hunting ground. You must go there alone and unarmed. She'll come after me. You can draw Morinth out. She'll certainly flee if she catches sight of me, but she won't be able to resist you. You are an artist on the battlefield. You have the vital spark that attracts her. Your power will draw her in. I'm walking into this place with no gun and no backup? I will be in the shadows watching, Shepard. You will never be alone. This I swear. But you cannot barge in with guns and allies. Morinth is far too cagey. She'd simply disappear. This is a subtle, delicate act. Trust me. Time's wasting. Let's get over there. I agree. We can talk more once we're there. Okay, so the only thing you really need to examine here is the hollow journal. You could read the note and see the statue, but the hollow journal tells you everything, so... Well, now we need to get out of here and go to the VIP area, if I could remember where it is. It's up the stairs, okay. Yeah, there it is, okay. You drop Jarut's name to get into the VIP area. What do you want? Someone told me the rest of Afterlife is nothing compared to this place. Sounds like a smart person. Who was it? Jarut. Go on in. Word to the wise. Start a fight, we'll hurt you. If someone attacks you, it's okay to defend yourself. alone. Marinth will be watching. Like any predator, she is cautious. You must pique her interest enough that she will approach you. When you are face to face, subtly encourage her to invite you to her apartment. I'll follow discreetly, and when you are alone, I'll spring the trap. Know this, until I get there, you are in great peril. She will be planning to inflict horrors on you. If you are not careful, you will want her to. Let's get started. All right. Shepherd. We only get one chance at this. Any mistake and Morinth will disappear. If you're the least bit unsure, come talk to me. I will wait here. This is easy to do. Thank you. I do not share this burden easily, and you are the only soul I can imagine sharing it with. Yeah, this is easy to do. I'll just explain how to do it, because I can do it quicker that way. Hey, do you know where to get tickets for Expel 10? I heard this amazing Asari say they were her favorite band. I wanna... I just want whatever she wants. I gotta find tickets. Expel 10 is playing tomorrow. What kind of music do they play? They're a sensory band. Like, they crawl into you and make you feel things. And this Asari digs them like you wouldn't believe. I could score way out of my league, you know? You gotta help me. I don't have any tickets. If you score some, I got some creds for you. Okay. I hate this place and everyone in it. Every night I hate it all over again. I don't talk to people. Are you sure this is where you want to be? Uh, hi. I need help right now and I don't know who to ask. You're human and you don't look high, so you're it. Can you help me out? What kind of help? My friend Moira is doing a piece on Omega Games. He's hanging with Floor. He's the worst of the worst. Your friend could get hurt. Yeah, and she's going to. See, Floor's on the way. His gang is on the way here, and they're going to make a mess of her. I have to get a message to her, and fast. What do you want me to do? She and I have a code. If you go over and say two words to Floor, my friend will get the message and get out of there. The two words are terminal and terminal eternity. eternity. Okay. Going to do that. She's going to die. I can do that. Thank you. Thank you. Remember, terminal and eternity. In that order, just work them into a sentence. I love this place. I love everyone here. I love you. 
You need something, man? Is there a public extranet terminal around here? In a club? You don't have an Omni tool? That is a pretty strange question. I get by on public terminals. My Omni tool's been broken for an eternity. That's a tough break. I'm done talking to you now. Hey, Florit. I have to pee. Yeah? Hurry back, Moirol. I'm ready to head out. Okay. That's how you do that. I already said I loved you, though. You're breathing on my drink. Thank you so much. I really thought you were going to die. Okay. Sweaty. Ah, this guy. Okay. Don't be like that. I got creds. We'll go back to my place. I got simple tastes. Back off, asshole. I'm a dancer, not a hooker. You got a mouth on you. I'll enjoy watching you use it. <laughs> the lady asked you to step away. What the hell? I'm just looking for a good time. This isn't your business. Good times are over. Thanks for that. Security was asleep. <laughs> Commander Shepard knows how to beat the fuck out of somebody, let me tell you. And there's another one. Lots of money on this Good cred hunting tonight. Hit him in the alley. As long as it isn't one of Arya's people, we're good. We gotta get enough creds to keep Pink off our packs. Hey, what are you looking at? A pair of sad losers who think there's something, and are about to find out they're not. <laughs> Who's gonna show us that? You? Human thinks he's a tough guy. Tougher than you. There we go. Now we drew out more. I've been watching you. You're the most interesting person in this place. I've got a booth over here in the shadows. Why don't you come sit with me? Okay, now we're gonna chill with Morin. Some nights I come here and there's no one interesting to talk to. Some nights, there's just one person. Tonight it's you. Why is that? I know what I like. Do you? What do you think of the music here? Dark rhythms, violent pulses. It stirs something primitive in me. Okay, about you. you want to expel 10 for this option? You get that option by talking to the guy at the front door, asking for tickets. I'm curious about a band called Expel 10. They get in my head and tear it to pieces. They're in concert soon. Maybe we should go together. You can lose yourself in the music here. There are ways to enhance that. Like Halix, that's another one. You want? What do you think of Halix? It slithers through my soul. Seems like we share some interests. Art? Do you know anything about art? It speaks to the darkest places in me. What about you? There are certain pieces that grab me. What really moves you? If I saw an image of you, that would move me. Oh, that's, um, sweet of you to say. Art comes in many varieties. I've seen vids that were more powerful than a sculpture sitting in a gallery. You had to read the, you had to see the sculpture. That's right. I forgot about that. You needed to examine the sculpture in the apartment. But Vanya is the next one you need. My favorite. The two actresses on it are so glamorous. I'll have to watch it. Maybe we could do that together. Travel. I traveled all over the galaxy. It changes you, doesn't it? Real travel means going to dangerous places. Where you can see and do things most people can't imagine. Yes. When I travel, I find myself drawn to dark, dangerous places. Violent places? Violence is the surest expression of power. Violence is a means to an end. Power is that end. Do you want to get out of here? My apartment is nearby and I want you alone. Damn right. So we got it right. If you do all that right, you get to move on in this, um, in this one. Now you just talk to Morinth again. I love clubs. People, movement, heat. I can still hear the bass like 
the drums of a great hunt out for your blood. But here, it's muted, and you're safe. Is that what you want, Shepard? I'd rather fight than hide. Yes. Better to take control of your fate. I've never understood the fascination with safety. Some of us choose differently. Independence over submission? I think we share that, you and I. You compare us, but you're nowhere near my league. So strong. I need this. Look into my eyes and tell me you want me. Tell me you'd kill for me. Anything I want. I want you. I'd kill for you. Anything you want. Shh, darling. Just relax and hear my words. Marin! Mother! Do not call me that! I can't choose to stop being your daughter, mother. You made your choice long ago. What choice? My only crime was being born with the gifts you gave me! Enough, Morin! I am the genetic destiny of the Asari. They are not ready to reveal this. So I must die. You are a disease to be purged. Nothing more. I'm as strong as she is. Let me join you. I am already sworn to help you, Shepard. Let us finish this. End of the line, Morin. And they call me a monster. <coughs> All right, so we just beat. I am ready to leave this place and get on with my life. We just I'm ready to go as well. Do you want to talk about what happened? Shepard, what do you think I will say? What can I say? I just killed the bravest and smartest of my daughters. There are no words. I will try another time. For now, show mercy on a broken old warrior and let us leave. Let's go. I was level 30. How did I level up? Whatever. Okay. Well, we're ready to get out of here and get back to the ship. So... People come to places such as this seeking a better life, and when they get here, they find violent people forced into destitution on a world filled with criminals. They deserve protection. If I survive your mission, I may return here. Okay. So we'll come down here. We'll come up these stairs and get out of here. And then we'll need to go to the Citadel to do Thane's mission and pick up the first package. But since we have Samara here with us, we can do Reeve. the area, why not? Normandy? I tell you, this is a Gatorade water bottle, and I've been buying the um, I've been buying the 
drink mix, the powder, the Gatorade powder. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. And I tell you, it tastes great, man. It, it really does. It tastes great that um, normally with the drink powders, you get like a powdery taste. Not this stuff. This stuff actually tastes like the ready-made stuff, you know? Morinth haunted my dreams and waking hours equally. For the first time in 400 years, I am free. I am a ruined vessel of sorrow and regret, but I am free. It is not a feeling I can describe. What will you do now that Morinth is gone? Assuming I survive your mission, I am a Justicar. Injustice still exists, and perhaps even other Ardat Yakshi. You don't want to settle down? I did. I returned to my homeworld and tried to start a family. I will fight and struggle all my life. That is my fate. When I die, it will not be in bed. I am at peace with that. You still control the direction of your life. I have chosen this path. I truly am at peace. Due in no small part to you. Okay. Well, now we'll go to the Citadel. A new Thane's mission and get that package. So here we go, here to the Citadel. Okay, so we bring out Thane for this mission. And then we want to talk to Cat Maley. Investigating the death of Sedonis, Shepard. They currently have no leads. Also, according to CSEC, a drill recently passed through customs. The CSEC office may have more information. Okay. I'm sorry, sir, but I'll need you to remove any biotic amp. You'd think Citadel security would be the tightest in the galaxy. I see no fewer than 14 fatal flaws a skilled assassin could exploit. Eight of them existed when I was here ten years ago. Uh. Yes? My associate is trying to find his son. We think a local criminal may have hired him. That should be easy. We don't see many drow here. There we go. One of my men reported a drill recently. And he was talking to Mouse. Interesting. Mouse? Ah, petty criminal. Probably not the guy who hired your boy, but a messenger. He's a former duct rat. Runs errands for anyone who'll pay. What was it you called, Mouse? A duct rat. It's a local slang for the poor kids who grow up in the station. When they're small, they tend to play in the ventilation ducts where adults can't get to them. Aren't the ducks dangerous? Every couple of months, we pull a little body out of them. Lacerated by fan blades, broken by a deadfall, suffocated by vacuum exposure. Those are just the ones we know about. More just disappear. Maybe they get sucked into space. Maybe they fall into the protein vats the keepers run. The mouse survived long enough that he can't fit in the ducts anymore. He was one of the smarter ones, or the luckier ones. What sort of trouble has Mouse been getting himself into? Odd jobs for shifty people. 
Ducked rats take whatever is available to get by. Data running, fencing stolen goods, selling illegal VI personalities. Actually, he was selling one of you. Me? Yeah, when you erased a file, it would say I delete data like you on the way to real errors. Buggy, though, it crashed every half hour. The error message was about how the galaxy was at stake and you should fix the problem yourself. <laughs> I've heard enough. Mouse is usually upstairs outside the Dark Star. He works out of a public comm terminal. You should pick up a copy of the Shepard VI when you talk to him. It sounds like your boy's running with the wrong crowd. Yes, I agree. If Mouse can't get you in touch with your son directly, he'll know who can. I'll help you if you need it. Okay. We better hurry then. You didn't tell him that Kolyat plans to assassinate someone. We're gonna stop him before that happens, aren't we? Yes, we are. Thank you, Shepard. Okay. We want to go downstairs first. So we can go to Marib's store and get that data package. And then we'll take the transit to the top floor and talk to Mouse. Here's the data pad. Okay, and then we'll have to deliver that package to Ish. We'll do that after we're done here on the Citadel. And Mouse is not on the top floor. He's actually in between the 28th and 27th floor. I just went to the top floor because it's faster to get to him. You know what's good? Alliance Corsair. The battles are pretty realistic, but it's still fun. And you can install it on I thought he was. Guess he's not. Is he not up here? Been a while since I've done this mission, so maybe he's not because he should have been. Oh, there he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, I can get you two cases by the end of the day. You mouse. What are you? Oh shit, Krios. I thought you retired. Commander Shepard? I thought you died. What do you want with me? Be still, Mouse. You can change your pants in a moment. We need you to answer some questions. The people I work for... Look, I can't answer questions for just anybody. But you can for me. You gave another Drell instructions for an assassination. Who's the target? I, I don't know. I didn't ask. Because the people I work for... We don't have time for this. Dane, help me. Help me, Mouse. My son is out there, in the dark. That's why I cared for him. I thought you'd want me to. Please. Explain. He came in, said he was looking for work. He had a hollow of me, the, the one you took, Krios. I put the word out. Use your old contacts. Elias wanted to hire him. Elias Kellum. One other thing. That Shepard VI you're selling? Oh shit, you heard- Look, you were dead. It was totally legal to make a VI of you. Give me a copy, we'll call it even. What? I mean, sure, yeah, absolutely. Sorry about the whole- Just so you know, there's three Volus who are patching it all the time. Tell me about Kelly. Human. Moved to the Citadel about ten years ago. He was little people when you were here, Krios. 
He got big after the Geth attack. Lots of the big guys from before got cacked, all in the big fancy apartments up on the Presidium. Now he runs the rackets on the lower end of the ward, Shen Akiba. He's seriously bad news. You just saved yourself a world of pain, kid. Yeah, right. When Kellen finds out what I've done, I won't live long. And I can't do anything about it but hide. Krios, you got any kindness for me? Put a bullet in Kellen before you go. That couldn't have been easy. Mouse knew more about my life than Kolyat ever did. He smiles up at me, broken teeth and scabby knees. Bare feet black. A dead in future looking up at me, worshipping the petty gifts I offer. I was the only good thing he had back then. But I left him as I left Kolyat. Don't blame yourself. If I don't, who will? We must carry the weight of our decisions, Shepard. Okay. Well, fuck it. We'll just go down the stairs. That's all we need to do. Just get back to... We offer data protection. Um, we need to go back to Bailey. Protection ever malfunctions. You can download a new Yes? Can we talk about my associate's son? You talked to Mouse? Did you get the name of the guy he's working with? Elias Kellum. Kellum? Oh, shit. Uh, look, this is awkward. Kellum and I have a, an agreement. He doesn't cause too much trouble and buys tickets to the CSEC charity ball from me. In return, I ignore him. He pays you off. You were eager to help us before. What about now? Is it too inconvenient? I said I'd help. It's just there'll be repercussions if I don't handle it right. He and I give each other space. It keeps the peace. I'll get some of my people to bring him in and set him up in a private room. You can interrogate him yourself. I'll stay out of sight. And if I'm lucky, Kellum will believe that I had nothing to do with it. Bring him in. We might not have much time. I'll make it happen. Wait here. We've got Kellen. Tell Bailey we're ready. He'll expect me to get him out of this. Not today, I think. Captain, his lawyer's here. Ben Elias has his VI set to page him if CSEC gets within 10 meters. I'll stall him. Get in there and work fast. We should question him together. Keep the pressure on. Thoughts on how we approach it? You talk to him. Appeal to his self-interest. I'll put the screws to him if he needs it. Very well. I'll pretend to be on his side. But if we waste too much time negotiating, Bailey won't be able to stall Kellum's advocate. Get me out of these restraints, Bailey. Pretty funny bringing me down here like this. The hell are you two? You ordered a hit on someone. You're gonna tell me who. The only person I'm talking to is my advocate. Here's how it works. I ask a question, you answer the question. You speak when you're spoken to. Who the fuck you think Mr. you Kellum, are? I don't believe you were paying attention. Nice. You just handed me your job. Hit me again and I'll take your money too. I'm gonna straighten you out as soon as Bailey gets here. Just tell us what we need to know. My associate isn't very patient. What are you, frog boy? This little sidekick? What, kid? You gonna bore me into confessing? You ain't shit. Works for me. No! Do you know what I'll do to you when I get out of here? Keep it up, tough guy. You'll leave in a bag. Go to hell. He's up. He's 
no use to us dead. Are we done here? Because I got people to see. I'm done being ah! patient. Give me a name or I'll cut your balls off and sell them to a Krogan. Joram! Joram Talid. Dorian in the 800 box. He's unconscious. No need to wake him up, I think. I'm not shedding any tears. Not over the likes of him. <laughs> avoid unnecessary bloodshed. Pure results come from pure methods. I worry about what is yet to come. What's the story? Why'd Kellum hire the boy? Assassination. A Turian named Joram to lead. You know him? Joram? Yeah. You might have seen his posters around. He's promising to end organized crime on the ward. Thing is, his message is all mixed up in race politics. He's anti-human. We need to stop this assassination. Can you get us to the 800 blocks? Sergeant, get a patrol car. These two need to get to the 800 blocks. Yes, sir. Hey, this can get tough, there and you'll see why in a minute. How do you want to play this? Follow to lead on the maintenance catwalks. Tell me what he's doing. The Krogan bodyguard will make him easy to follow. Where will you be? The darkest corner with the best view. I'm on Kira, Lord of Hunters. Grant that my hands be steady, my aim be true, and my feet swift. And should the worst come to pass, grant me forgiveness. It's been wonderful talking. I'm on him, Thane. He's talking to some voters. Understood. You're in position? Yes. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. Okay, there was a hidden uh, heavy pistol damage. Now you gotta follow this guy. Just to keep Thane in the loop. This can get tough. Because he gets into a bad spot sometimes. Looks like he's talking to another voter. Any sign of call yet? No. I'm moving to another position. Ahead of him. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. Excuse me. Do you have the target? If you don't update Thane, you lose the mission. And you don't want to do that because you only get one chance at this. Target in sight. Okay, just to get a head start when they decide to go. I see you. Now they're running. We need to go on the other side? We do. Okay, that's right. Stay close, Shepard. I need you to stay close or we'll lose him. What's he doing? I don't have a good angle. What's he doing? One of his guards is talking to the bartender. Looks like a shakedown. Okay. He 
he going? Where is he now? He's meeting a couple of mercenaries. Looks like the same group his bodyguard comes from. He looks nervous. Could be he's noticed you. Maybe he saw Kolyad in here somewhere. Also a possibility. There are obstructions ahead. I'll try to go around. Don't lose him. We won't lose him. Yes, sir. It's been a while since I've done this, so I'm kind of nervous. Hey, who are you? I don't have time for this. I see him. There we go. Do whatever you want. C-Sec. Put the gun down, son. Get out of my way. I'm walking out. He's coming with me. They'll have snipers outside. I don't need them. What the hell? Delete. Get the hell out of here. Yeah, yeah, I will. Take the boy into custody. You son of a bitch! Your father doesn't have much time left, Paul, yet. He's trying to make up for his mistakes. What? So you came to get my forgiveness? So you can die in peace or something? I came to grant you peace. You're angry because I wasn't there when your mother died. You weren't there when she was alive. Why should you be there when she died? Your mother. They killed her to get to me. It was my fault. What? After her body was given to the Deep, I went to find them. The Trigger Men. The Ringleaders. I hurt them. Eventually killed them. When I went back to see you, you were... older. I should have stayed with you. I guess it's too bad for me you waited so long, huh? Yet I've taken many bad things out of the world. You are the only good thing I ever added to it. This isn't a conversation you should have in front of strangers. Boys, take Koliat and his father back to the precinct. Give them a room and as much time as they need. I'm surprised you're letting him do that. You think he's the only man who ever screwed up raising a son? I have to get back to the precinct. Come on, I'll give you a lift. All right, so we got Thane's mission done. So now we have his loyalty too. They've been in there a while. Uh, the kid's been through a lot. I ran some searches in the CSEC archive. About ten years back, a bunch of real bad people were killed. Like someone was cleaning house. The prime suspect was a drill. We never caught him. Ten years is a long time. Whoever was responsible for that probably doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, I guess you're right about that. How to go? Our problems are... They aren't something I can fix with a few words. We'll keep talking, see what happens. 
Your boy shot some people. No one I feel sympathy for, but there it is. I watched those guys shaking down businesses and threatening humans. But he can't just get away with it. The kid wants to make a difference. Give him community service. Community service for attempted murder? What jury would agree to that? None that I've seen. This would need to stay out of the judiciary. Strictly within CSEC. Interesting. I'll think about it. Thank you, Captain. Okay, so now we're done here. I'm gonna get to the ship and probably gonna have to save because I'm needing a break and um, need something to eat too, so this is a I'll get on the Citadel for the save. Um, I'll actually hit the research terminal for the save as well. That way, then I get the heavy pistol damage. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. All right. There we go. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. Hope you all had fun. I know I said I was going to do the Shadow Broker mission, but, you know, I figured, oh, fuck it, I'll get these smaller missions done. That way, then, I have more money when I go back to Ilium to buy stuff. So, anyway, I'll just see you all in the next episode.